Hello everyone, it's Jim G from Jim G's Coaching Club. I want to welcome you to this edition of my video cheat sheet. What we're going to be discussing today is how to pick up your first Airbnb property in 14 to 21 days without experience, without banks, for $2,500 or less. Now, the reason why I'm going over this topic is because I just got off the phone with one of my students in Japan, in Tokyo, Japan. And it's a newer student, newer student. The houses are a little bit more expensive over there. And in talking with Nico, he's asking the same questions as many of my students that I talk to in the United States and in the UK and in Australia, right? They all ask the same questions. How do you do this? without having to deplete all my finances and not have to have a whole lot of real estate experience to do. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this out for you guys in a real quick video cheat sheet so you can follow along and then begin implementing and do the same thing for yourself. But before we get started, what I wanna encourage you to do, if, you, if you're already familiar with me, and my strategies, my techniques, you know that I am passionate, passionate about helping people to build their own six-figure passive income Airbnb portfolio without experience, without owning property, without banks, and without having to have a whole lot of money down. So that, like me, they can allow their passive income real estate to support the things that they're really passionate about like spending time with their loved ones, like traveling, like being able to help others, like teaching, like giving back the way I do. So I'm, I'm passionate about that, you know, and if that's something that you still haven't obtained, what I want you to do, click the link below, the first link, and schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. And what I'm going to do is I'll take that time, I'll spend the one-on-one -on -one time with you to to go through your current situation, to see how I can help you get out of that situation and into the vision that you do have for your life, right? Using creative real estate strategies that I've been using for 30 years. So with that said, the next thing is, at the end of the video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share a link to a physical cheat sheet with everything that I discussed and it actually adds a few other uh, details to it that I, I'm not necessarily including here just to save you guys time right? Because I just want to go through it, boom, 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 so that you know the basic steps. But in the cheat sheet, you're going to have more of the detailed steps that I that I personally take and use to build my portfolio. All right. If that's something you want, what I want you to do is in your comments, type in cheat sheet, subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. And if you are getting value from this video cheat sheet, then click the thumbs up. Okay. So now let's begin. First, let me show you my Airbnb account, okay? One of them anyway. And when you look at the Airbnb account, one of the things you're gonna see is the earnings as of today and what I've, what I've earned so far today. And as of today, it shows that I've earned $109,857. And that was through, uh, it is now, uh, what, September, September 20th and so far of that hundred nine thousand eight hundred fifty seven dollars I've been paid out into my account a hundred four thousand uh, five hundred seventy five dollars and there's another five thousand two hundred eighty two dollars coming in so the beauty of that is that's on one of my portfolios that I have uh, what 20 20 something listings in there and in that 20 something listings of that, there's only seven of them I own. So I own only a few of those. The others, I lease. I lease them, right? And I'm gonna show you how to do that quickly so that if you're not in a position like myself where you, you already own properties, when I first started with Airbnb, I started testing with my own. I have a number of rental units. And so I took one of them and I converted it into an Airbnb just to test to see if it worked. And then from there, it was working pretty well. 
So my daughter, who I was mentoring at the time, she had just graduated from college. I said, well, let's implement this other strategy. And we started leasing, right? And so what we did is we added one and we added another. Within nine months, we added 20, we added 21 units in nine months, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing. And then from there, we've, we've just continued to grow and build our portfolios, right? But it's a, it's a relatively simple, simple process. In the beginning, it wasn't necessarily simple because I didn't really know I didn't really have that much of a guide to do it. I had to figure it out. But because of my experience, 30 over 30 years of experience in real estate, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't really intimidated by that um, because I pretty much had to teach myself most of the stuff I've done. And I've done over 700 profitable transactions in the 30 years that I've, I've been doing real estate. And that's as an investor, um, not as a realtor. It wasn't a realtor, it was never a realtor, always an investor. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the basic things you're gonna to need to get started. First things first, what are you gonna do? You're gonna to go to Zillow. Zillow.com. Click on rent. And I'm in Rochester, New York, so it's already loaded, but you're going to click on rent, type in the area that you're interested in, go to here for rent, right? Make sure all these are off, click on rent, and then hit done. And then you're going to look for, I would always recommend three plus or more bedrooms. Start with three plus, right? That's what you're going to look for. And, and I'll explain that to you on one of our next series why you want to go for three plus bedrooms or more right so this is all these are all the rentals that are in my neighbor in my area okay all the rentals in my in my area so what you're going to do is you're going to click on one of the listings okay and you're going to click on request a tour Really simple. If you have a Zillow account, it's gonna pre-populate your information and then you're going to click on add a message. And then from here, you're gonna let them know that, hey, I'm, you know, I'm Jim. I am interested. in renting your place you should have this you should have all this already typed in but in fact let me show you something else right because I do you don't have to type in anything I'll show you the one that I already use right here my Zillow template Right. And this is what mine says. It says, hello, my name is Jim. I'm a local businessman who owns 47 units in and around Rochester. My family and I have lived here for 23 years. Many of my business clients are professionals who come in from around the world to Rochester for different events. While my clients are here on business, I like to host them as my guests instead of sending them to a hotel. Fortunately, most, if not all of my units have been regularly full so I'm buying and leasing more space to satisfy my growing need to accommodate my clients. Your place seems to fit my needs and I'd like to take a, a peek at it today or tomorrow. Please call, text, or email me to arrange a time to view. And your phone number, thank you and blessings. That's it. You take that, you copy. Copy it. Paste it. and hit send to a request that's it right and then what you do is you save it right now you save it and and it's in your profile so that's the first thing you do right 
what's going to happen is that person is going to respond back to you if they're interested in renting to you for the purposes that you 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 mentioned. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to set when they do reach out to you because of the profile that I put in there, you want to make sure your profile has credibility. You want to make sure you the, the profile somewhat explains what you're doing, right? So that way, every only people that are calling you are going to be people that are interested. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna in most cases they'll text you or email you, and in some instances they will call you. But only people that are interested, and because your message, if it's done properly, is going to have a profile that has credibility, and they're going to want to meet you. They're gonna you they're gonna want you renting their place right and so they're gonna invite you out to take a peek you're gonna go out next step is you're gonna set up an appointment you're gonna go out and the purpose of you going out it's it's to accomplish a couple different things one it's to get out there and, and establish rapport with the people that you're meeting with right so you're gonna establish rapport you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna help them to realize that you are the type of person that they're gonna to want to do business with right so you're gonna establish a rapport you're going to utilize my win-win principles right which if you're familiar with my video cheat sheet series where I explain the win-win principles basically you know in a nutshell the win-win principles is understanding what your win is understanding what their win is or getting becoming familiar with what their win is and then satisfying that right so that when you walk out with when you when you finish that transaction or when you enter into that transaction everyone is happy right everyone is excited and it it allows for the type of relationship to to grow that that starts off with no tension or no friction because everyone got what they needed right and so so you're going to utilize the win-win principles um and then what you're going to do is you're going to commit if they offer you the opportunity to rent that place, you're gonna to commit to renting it. Now, in the next series, what I'm gonna explain is, how do you determine if it's gonna be a profitable rental for you in the process of, of locking it up, right? So that you're gonna maximize your return on investment like we do, where when I'm, when I'm renting a property, I know that I'm gonna be able to at least get one time or two times the amount of the rent that I'm paying, right? So if I'm paying $1,500 a month, I'm gonna be getting $3,000 to $4,500 a month coming in for my Airbnb so that I can at least pay my rent. And so I'm gonna double it, put that money in my pocket or triple it and I put two times rent in my pocket, right? So I'm gonna explain that to you um, in the next series. So from a, from a simplicity perspective, that's how simple it is. Like I'm not here to teach you the whole course in one quick, what we call this, what? Video cheat sheet series, right? So in one quick video cheat sheet, you learn, the, the key pieces right now is you just learn how to get the property. It's as simple as that. All my students know, what I do is I keep it simple, right? I keep it simple. The problem with many courses today or many trainers today is what? They try to give you too much and then you get overwhelmed and you end up doing nothing. No, keep it simple. First things first, first step first, right? You do that, what's gonna happen? You're gonna start getting responses. I need you to send out 10 of those a day. I call those my 10 a days, right? You send out 10 of those a day, you're gonna start getting responses throughout the day. You're gonna start setting up appointments. If you do that every day, you'll have more than a couple handful of appointments within a week, right? And then you're gonna be meeting people, developing relationships, and then you're gonna be able to pick and choose which one you wanna get started with, right? But then the next step is understanding if it makes sense from a profitability perspective. And that's what we'll discover in the next video, right? So I wanna thank you. Before you go, again, if you felt you got value, I want you to like, comment, subscribe to this video. And more importantly, if you're really serious about your financial freedom, if you know in your heart that the lifestyle that you have right now is not the lifestyle that you want to live, that you should be living, if you're not able to enjoy your gifts, your God-given gifts and passions and share them the way you should be sharing them as much as you'd like, if you're not able to, to do the things that you 
would love to be able to do for your family, your your significant other, your children, spending the type of quality time that you need to spend, being able to help loved ones or just people in the community, just being able to help them the way you've been blessed with a gift and a heart to want to be able to help them because you don't either have the time or the finances to do it, then I want you to schedule a call with me, right? If you want if you want to use real estate as a tool to, to, to accomplish that, schedule a call with me and I'll diagnose, I'll get into, you know, we'll talk about it and then we'll see how I can, again, as a student, help you to get there, right? And like I do with, with all the rest of my students who, who are successful today, right? So again, I want to thank you for viewing and as always, God bless you and I'll see you on the next call.